Hey y'all, Rusty Rob here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going through the first problem of advent of code. So I hope you're all ready to do some coding this December up until Christmas. And we're going to be using Rust. So a good chance to use some Rust iterators and some reusable code to hopefully just solve this problem in just a few lines of code. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's open up this problem and yada 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 I think what you have to do is just get the first digit and the last digit of each line and then just sum them up and it's the last one's a bit tricky because the first digit and the last digit are the same and if we sum up these numbers we should get 142 so Put this into presentation mode, but first let's copy and paste this data. Alrighty, so we'll just have a reference to that data. run this make sure it's working it's complaining that data is not used so let's use that so we'll loop through the lines of the data we'll map them to a number and then we will sum those up I'm sure I32 will be okay. So now we just need this function that gets the number out. It's easy to go overboard with iterators. So maybe we'll use a helper method. So this is going to take a line and we need the first digit from the line. Let's just say that's one, and let the second digit equal two. Then we would return first digit times 10 plus the second digit. And that's just, you know, shifting that first digit so that it's uh, the first part of the number. So let's just try run this. And it sounds right. So now let's make a method to get the first and second digit. So we need to go through the characters of the line, find the first one that's a digit, and also the last one that's a digit. So let's make a helper function for that. Um, let's just call it first digit. And that can return an i32. And it's going to take an iterator of characters, so we'll just call that chars. Uh, and so how do we do this? Um, an implementer, maybe I'll just call this it. Um, and the item will be character. And so we'll go it dot map. So taking that character and we'll go C dot two digit. And this will be either a number or it will be none, which means we can go flatten. Flatten is usually meant for flattening arrays or iterables into one iterable, but we can think of this optional number as either it's a, an empty array or it's an array with one value in it. So you can flatten uh, optional values, which is quite nice. And so then we'll just get the next or the first value from that and we'll unwrap that. And it's complaining. So the digit will be a U32. So let's just use U32 or we could just convert that to an I32 in this case. And 
this requires a radix, so we'll add 10 there. So now we can go first digit. Um, I'll just call this D1, D2. And we will get the first digit from the line's characters, and we'll get the first digit from the line's characters reversed. And let's run that, and hopefully we get 142. Cool. So now I think we're ready to try to solve this. We'll grab our puzzle and put, put it in here. And we'll run that. And we'll try to paste that in here. Hopefully we get a gold star. Perfect. So thank you for uh, for watching. And feel free to subscribe. I might solve one or two more of these throughout the month. We'll see. Um, happy coding and have a great Christmas.